Yeah, so we're, uh, we're leaving Ferry Meadows. I always like coming to Ferry Meadows. Yep. We normally come for the show, don't oh, we? Oh, God, I'm getting dri- I've left my window open. I'm getting dripped on here. Lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Running off the roof and into my window. You're going the right way here. Oh, you can't go this way, can no. you? That's what, what I had with Alison. Yeah. I don't think you can. No, what it's saying like that, and it's, yeah. there's no entry. That's right. And the arrow's pointing that way. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. I came round here with Alison. I think I, <laughs> I think I found the signs a bit confusing. <laughs> My little brain couldn't process that. No, no. Yes, we've often been round here, haven't we? It's quite nice, this bit here. Yeah. It's just there's so much to do at, uh, here. I think that's a great thing about it, and it, mm. it's it's a good stop off on the A1 as well. Yes, yeah, we used to do that quite a bit, didn't yeah. we? Just the, sort of like the first night. Yeah. So goodness knows how many times we've been here. And obviously coming here for the uh, Motome show as well, and occasionally for the Land Rover show, which yeah. is also on at the. Uh, Peterborough Showground, and that's on in September. Unfortunately, we'll be in Scotland, so I'll miss it again this year. (laughs) Well, you should should tell me these things are essential, that I don't book something else. Yeah. So we go somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're going for a click and collect, aren't we, first, and then we're off to Carsington Water. Carsington Water, yeah. I've been there a couple of times before. Last time was in that um, Bailey autograph, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I'll open my window and get wet again. And here's the battery key. Card. being watched there. Yeah. So it looked sounded like the engine was running, or at least something was going up and down the line. Might just be a maintenance train. I thought they were running on Wednesdays, but oh, that on Wednesdays, sign okay. uh, said they weren't, so... Okay. I think the click and click's got a height barrier, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Turn left onto the alley. Well, that'd be all right. We'll see. Why do they do that? What is two the point of meters. doing that? Two and a half metres. It's what? Two and a half metres. Two and a half, so I can't go in there. No. I don't know why they do that. I think I'm going to email Sainsbury's. Hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> what do we do here then? I know. What's that say there? It says motorcycles, motorcycles. only. There's nowhere else to park, is there? No. What does it say? 2.5? Yeah, you can't get under that. It's eight and a half feet. I suppose we could park over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to park here. Yeah, one of my pet peeves is a click and collects that have got height barriers. <laughs> it's anti-motorhome. <laughs> Anti-anything that's more than... Motorhomist. 2.5 metres high. Yeah, it's it? not, I mean, I jet into the uh, ladders delivering it and... Uh, they said that it's not just motorhomes that struggle with the height barrier there, you know. Vehicles of other vans or uh, Land Rovers or off-road vehicles can't get in there. No. It's just stupid and I don't know what they're trying to achieve with it. We're 
on the uh, thing. It looks like we're going A14, M1, yeah. A50. Okay. So back the way we came originally, really. One thing about parking with all the HGVs is you can watch uh, amazing reversing. Yeah, yeah. They are excellent some of these drivers, yeah. aren't they? I believe Leicester, was it Le it's Leicester Services, not is it? No, uh, Donington. Donington, yeah. Please drive to highlighted route. Yeah, usual sort of poop poor signage on the way in so you can't figure out where you're supposed to go. In a quarter of a mile. Turn right onto A453. I think we were in the area we're supposed to be in. Just to see so? any other caravans. No. The caravans that way. Should have carried on. So oh, all right. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto A453. I don't want to go back on the M1. No, it's where on. we were the other week, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <coughs> so we've gone from Utoxeter back to home yeah. to Norfolk. Yeah. That's no, Ashwell to Norfolk. Yeah. Then to Peterborough. And now we're going back to Carsington Water. Yeah. View of the truck in front, it's quite a nice view. Heading into the Peak District. Yeah. So, towards Leak then. On the A52, yeah. I think it's taken us round Ashbourne. It actually says Carsington Water straight on. Does it? You wouldn't yeah. do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you're taking us. That way, unless she's taking it, avoiding the town centre. Do you want to do that or do you want to go through the town centre? 
Well, was, we managed it before, didn't we? Yeah. The car on the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we'll go through the town, town centre. Yeah, that's all she's trying to do. Perhaps this is why we need to. Turn left onto A515, then take the second right. Avoid it. Going left here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. she was going to do was bring you round the back and up here. Okay. Looks like it works either way then, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's all got the bunting out. Oh, yeah. yeah, they always seem to have the bunting out, don't they? Mm. Through traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Otherwise, follow everyone else. Yeah. into water. Yeah. I think you could get through there. I oh, know.
the water don't they and then yeah. the sites just passed it. Looks like there's a campsite just here. Yeah. I oh, know it's on the right. It's on the right there. Mind you that's a rally field. Oh is it? The actual campsite was oh, pointing right. okay. to the right. There's the visitor centre. Yeah. Less of a queue here, aren't we? Sorry? Less of a queue than we had on Sunday. Just a bit, yeah. It says please stay in your vehicle until you reach the front of the queue. The queue yeah. Right. Yeah, a bit different here. But, uh, it's a two-way system all the way around. Right. And uh, you have to park between the pegs. Right. This, um, okay. Motor home vehicle service point is there. Okay. It's quite a big site. About 130 pitches. I was going to see, look, clearly looking at the numbers. Yeah. Turn into that service point. Shall we fill up with water? Yeah, could do. Is it this one here? Um, yes, it is. It's got a horrible grate. Just a horrible there. grate. No, yeah. you have to turn into it. Oh. No, it's here. It's here. Yeah, it has got a grate. Careful, this blooming post there. I think we parked down there before. We did. I don't think there's any way down there though. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think you can, it goes around the loop. There's one here, but it's quite, it is really slopy. Very slopey there. Mind you, they're all a bit slopey, aren't they? Yeah. Hardly qualifies as a pitch there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, if you've got one of those little things, it's all the show. You ought to have a, um, one of those one in, one in three uh, hill warnings. No, we'll just keep Quite. an eye out for kids flying down here. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. You're okay. If I'm going to make that, I'm going to make that. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Watch those people. I don't yeah, I know. I'm just are they watching gone? them. Yeah, behind me. There's a play area there. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's just behind that caravan. We can't find anywhere have to come back down to the bottom. And that one next to the motem service point isn't that bad. It's no, just it's, it's just next that you'll to have the... people sitting there emptying their ways whilst <laughs> their engines are running <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning. And that's that dog walk. Yeah, that was, that was yeah it goes all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah. The walk. You were in there. Do you want to have a look round? Can I can't see anywhere obvious, no, but, no, but we can at least we can drive round it, can't we? Yeah. find out there isn't anywhere. There isn't anywhere. Right, I think we've got one more area up the top to try and then we're going to have to go back down the bottom. Yeah. Nice tour of the site anyway. Yeah. Oh, so there's none at the end there. I can't see you around this caravan, but... No. 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 And we're going to have to go back down the bottom. So not another level up, then? Don't think so. I think that's it. Is it? Why is there a road carrying on up there, then? Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> because it's a dead end. Probably just ought to mention that Ian Shaw, Motorhome Fun, did a really thorough walk round, look round, and walk round with cars into water and did a load of drone shots. And his links up here. <laughs> he does some really enjoyable videos. Yeah, he does some really good videos. So have a look at his channel, check it. Right, Poppy, you're going to have to do the, uh, the information about the site because I can't get in that chair now. I can't get to the piece of paper because it's in front of Poppy. I can pass you that. Oh, right. Vodafone seems pretty good and uh, EE two dots, is it yeah. one dot on my phone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm sorry, but you're over there. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> I'll sit behind the camera, does that help? That's the, uh, you sit behind the camera? Yeah. I'm sitting behind the camera, so I'm, I'm sort of here. It just says about the shower block cleaning times. 
um, local shops in Ashbourne, uh, M&S, the Sainsbury's. So it's, a fair, it's a fair trek to Ashbourne. It is a fair way, yeah. yeah. Co-op or Aldi and a Boots. Yeah. Um, it says that you, your visitors can park in the car park, but they have to go to reception to collect a permit, which is a bit unusual, isn't it? Permit for what? Parking in the car park. Oh. And it says there's a shop in reception open Monday to Sunday, 8.30 to 10 and 1 to 6. And a fish and chip van on Fridays, cash only, okay. 7 p.m. Yeah. Because we're not, not here Friday. <laughs> and a pizza van on Saturday. And we won't be here Saturday. We're, on Saturday, you can pre order your pizza and there's a name. And a mobile coffee shop, Mondays. Right. So n none of the days we're here have got any of no. those coming. No. And that just gives you the, the vets. Um, emergency numbers, the dentist, yeah. hospitals, and a what three words which you can put up on the I'll put on screen. screen, yeah, if I remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how much did it cost? I don't um, know, how much did it cost? £84.27. So that's We're here three for three nights. nights, yeah. Okay. I'm still getting the, the VAT discount. Yeah, yeah. The pictures are a bit small, aren't they? Yeah, they've got this um, thing with you've got to park between the. You've got to park between the um, the, the pegs. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if you can see behind us. Uh, we've pitched our awning normally as we pitch it, and it's like like three feet onto the grass. So I don't know if we're going to get told off for that. So we're going to have a chill rest of today, aren't we? And yeah. See how we feel tomorrow, and then yeah. Thursday we're going to the British Great Car British Motor Museum. Museum. Yeah. Yeah. And then we leave on Friday. Yeah. All right, so we're a little bit tired, aren't we? Because we've been all the way to the Norfolk show, then we went to Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. Met a lot of people. Yeah. We? Yeah. Yeah. We've had a good time, so we just need a, a bit of a rest. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Poppy can make some coffee, can't she? Well, Poppy could get me a beer, I think. Poppy, would you get me a beer? A little beer. A nice cold beer. She says. Well, come on, you're supposed to be doing the ending. <laughs> Can't get the staff, can no. you? No. Then just say goodbye then, Poppy. Goodbye, Poppy. Yeah, she says goodbye. <laughs>